Hey everyone, it's Amy. Um, today I want to teach you something, one of my favorite things to teach. And this is how we can kind of compare kanji and English words. Okay, so with kanji, you have like a bushu, 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 and that makes a kanji, right? So very similarly, English has the same kind of thing. And I want to show this with you today. So let's see about doing that. Okay, here we go. And there we go here. And hopefully it will bring this up, okay? In just a moment. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's, that's not gonna be good. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, no, I think it'll be okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we have um, everything is, uh, I should minimize everything. So we have a prefix, root, and suffix, okay? So let's examine what these actually mean. So, and what I'll do is I'll put my face a little bit closer to here. So maybe you can see me a little bit easier, okay? Um, oh, you know what? I think this is gonna be better like this, maybe, who knows? Okay. Anyways, um, or maybe it didn't make any difference. Let's take a look at prefix root suffix, okay? So when we think about pre, right? What does pre mean, right? It means before, of course, right? So before, okay? And fix, there's many different types of fix. So if something's broken, we can fix it. Um, there's, you know, lots of different ways, but this particular one means it's not moving. It's fixed. You can't move it. You know, so what I'm saying is, you know, this, we can't move this here. We can't move it here. It's got to stay where it is at the beginning of the word. Okay. Then the root. So I always have fun with the root because it's, you know, it reminds me of like a little tree. And here we have, oh, it's got an orange, whatever. Okay. So with the roots, right, you have you have the, the nickel, right? The nickel, the roots coming out from the tree. Okay. So let's think about this. Okay. So if pre means before, suff means what? If you said after, you are correct. So th in this way, we can use what we know about language to figure out, to solve the problems that we encounter in English by ourselves, okay? And that's the kind of thing that I want to be doing is I want to be empowering you, my students, and everybody, okay? And again, we have this fix, so it's the same, it's not moving. So I've chosen to express this with these two different um, these two different puzzle pieces, because you can't move prefix to root, right? You can't move them. They don't go anywhere else but where they are. They are the fixed parts. Okay, so let's examine a word that has a prefix, a root, and a suffix. Okay, so if we have this word here, Okay, uncomfortable. Okay, uncomfortable. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so we have um, this is, whoops, I made it bigger. Don't make it bigger. So this is not. Okay, un is not. Comfort, feel good, right? And able, another word for that is can, right? So can not feel good, uncomfortable. Okay, so we can use this in many different ways. And what I'll do, actually, I'll stop the share here. So I have this right here with you guys. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, so what you can do is you have this, and sorry, my ring light's on there. So you have, so, you know, can not feel good, uncomfortable, okay? But you can say things, you can use, the cool thing about it is you can use root, root suffix, prefix root, prefix root suffix. It's just like bushu in that way. If you change the pieces, the, the meaning changes as well, okay? So in this case, we have uncomfortable. 
This is a negative word, okay? Because it's it's not. It's really, really not. It's it's the how can I say? It's just never, never was, right? So if I'm sitting in this chair and this chair is uncomfortable, if I get up and I go home and I come back and I sit down again, it's never going to be comfortable, right? It's just going to be the same terrible chair and it hurts my back or whatever, right? So in this case, I can't say it's always, it's always the same, the same way. Okay. A different thing is for example, oh, if your shoulder is hurting, right? Your shoulder doesn't feel good. Okay. We can't say my, I can't go to the doctor and say my shoulder is uncomfortable. If you do, the doctor will understand. So don't worry too much about it. But I want you to be, the, the purpose of this exercise is to learn how to expand your vocabulary and um, yeah, just be able to, to figure out what words mean, even if you don't know the whole word, okay? So let's take a look back at our uh, sharing here. Oh, I gotta do it every time? That's annoying. All right, sorry, it'll be right up. It's connecting. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right. So what we can do is instead of this knot, you know, this knot, because this knot means, uh, it means un means many, many things. This is kind of simplifying it a lot, but um, we're going to say not and never was. Oops, my W is a little strange. Okay. So not and never was. So I can't tell my doctor, my shoulder is uncomfortable because it, you know, maybe yesterday it felt fine. Today, it doesn't feel good, right? So what we do is instead we will change the prefix to dis, okay? So this dis also means not, but was. It also, so here we go. So, and, and another uh, meaning of dis is taken away, okay? So let's say yesterday, my shoulder felt fine. Today, my comfort has been taken away. I have discomfort in my shoulder, okay? So let's, we'll stop the chair again. Hopefully this is gonna be, it's gonna play nice, but we'll see what happens. Um, let's think about living, right? It's pretty easy for us to be living, right? Our blood is flowing, our, you know, we can hear, we don't have to think about breathing, our brain is working, hopefully, all right? So then we have, it's very easy to live. And so we have ease is the root in there, okay? Ease and then E. The Y-E is the adjective form of the um, noun. So you take a noun, you put the Y at the end, right? Um, not happy. Happy is not a good one to, to talk about, but easy, right? Ease, E. So you separate them, ease, E, okay? So now I'm going to write down this on, so I'm going to change our um, root. So what happens then, I'm going to try to do this while talking. Uh, what happens then if you are, if your ease of living, right, is suddenly taken away, what are you left with? You're left with, oops, if I can write well, disease, right? So this is the kind of power with prefix root suffix. It's the power of prefix root suffix, okay? So you can take something and based on the, you know, the pieces that you use, 
you can, um, yeah, you can, it, it's a big help to expand your vocabulary. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know why I'm nervous doing this. It, every time when I'm teaching class, it's fine. When I'm making a YouTube video, I freeze up. Who knows? It's a mystery. All right. I hope this really helped you and leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. And if this helped you, if you have questions, um, because if you have questions, other people have had the same questions. Okay. So yeah, there are many, many, many different prefixes, roots, suffixes, but maybe you didn't know what those words were, you know, prefixes, what this means. Now I hope you have a little bit more understanding and you can help, you know, keep doing more searches and find, I don't even know what I want to say. <laughs> I really hope it helped though. I do. I truly do. Let me know if it helped you, if it didn't help you, if I should jump off a cliff. All right. No, don't tell me that. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.